Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to Hub City Drones. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, remember hit that subscribe and notification button for me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So if you're browsing YouTube today and you're trying to find the perfect mini drone to get to fly indoors when the weather outside is crappy, kind of like it is here today, trying to talk the wife into letting you get one, I have the perfect mini drone and the price is amazing. It's San Cisco's D15 foldable mini drone with a 1080p adjustable camera. This is a very cool little dude. He is just awesome. Price is even better. $55.99 right now on Amazon. But wait, before you say my wife won't go for that, they have a 50% off clickable coupon right now. So you can get this little dude for under 30 bucks. Great deal. Pause the video. Go get it real quick before the coupon's gone because you don't want to miss out on this one. This is an awesome deal on this little drone. Let's go unbox it. We'll check out everything we get with it. Then I'm going to put it up in my living room and I'm going to show you just how great this little thing flies. So let's get started. Alrighty, let's see what this little dude comes with. So that's the box it comes in. Just your standard cardboard box with your technical info on the back. The drone on the front, D15 mini drone, HD camera, long flight time, adjustable speeds, three of them, headless mode, and that cool 360 degree flip. All right, oh, I love it. The manual's right on the top. Cool manual, it is thick, but it is several languages. And I believe the English version's only like 20 something pages, 23 pages long. Is that what that says? 23, 13 maybe, something like that. Anyway, it's very well illustrated. And I know you probably can't see it because of the glare. I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't have all that professional lighting stuff yet, but it is very well detailed. The illustrations are really great. So, you know what I always say, read your manual top to bottom, live it, learn it, know it, even though it's not some high-tech GPS drone or whatever, read the manual anyway so you know everything the drone can and can't do. It's safer for you, everyone around you, you won't crash and ruin your drone. Uh, don't just get it, charge the batteries and put it in the air before you know what it can and can't do. Don't be a drone dummy. Cool. All right. Whoo! Oh my lord, this thing is tiny. Wow, it is really, really, really small. Very cool. All right, let's start with the goodie bag first. Might as well, right? All right, let's see what we got here. So we have one USB charger. Then we get, looks like, four obstacle avoidance mechanisms two three four ha, ha, ha. four propeller guards i like to call them obstacle avoidance mechanisms it sounds better one drone repair tool one propeller removal tool and then four spare propellers very cool that's that goody stuff. Then we get two, count them, yes, two 580 mAh specially designed high-powered mini drone engines. They are a 3.7 volt 580 mAh battery. You just plug this into your battery here on the side. It just pops right in there and you charge it. There will be a red light on that comes on on here and it will go out when your battery is completely charged. You do only get one charging cable for it. It would have been cool to get two, but you get one. But you can use another USB Type-C cable and a charger box. It's a, a 5 volt 1 amp is what they say to use. So you could plug it into a power bank, your computer, or your cell phone charger box to charge it up. And if you have an extra uh, cord, you can plug it in here and charge it. You just won't know when it's done charging and I believe it doesn't really tell you in the manual how long it takes to charge these batteries. Uh, I did cycle them down and charged them and it took about an hour and a half total to charge them completely up. 
So about 90 minutes, I would say 90 to 120 minutes, give or take, but uh, charge them up and you get 15 minutes per battery, which is really cool for a mini drone. You normally don't get that much time out of them and you literally get just about the full 15 minutes out of it. So that's really cool. All right, let's check out the controller. We'll save the star of the show for last. Oh, I like it. It's really nice. Got a little bit of weight to it, but not too much. The batteries aren't in it yet. It takes three AAA batteries. And let's go ahead and put those in. I want to show you guys this. You just take this screwdriver, and this actually has a little push pin in here, which is really cool. You just push it down and open it up, and I have some batteries right here. Let's put the batteries in it. One, two, three AAA batteries. And then this just slides right back on there like so, and it locks right in. It's kind of cool. You don't have to take a screw out or anything like that. It won't come off on you, so that's pretty cool. So, handy-dandy little screwdriver did its job. It actually has some nice weight to it. It will weigh more once you put your phone in it, and it should be real comfortable. And the cell phone holder is cool. It just flips up in the middle, opens right up. Now, I use a Note 20 Ultra, and I actually have an OtterBox case on it, and it literally fits right in here with the case on it. That's rare because you usually have to take it out of the case to, to use the cell phone holder, but this one, it fits. So it's a rather large cell phone holder on it. You have your joysticks. They feel nice and snug. They're not loose or, or hairy or whatever you want to call it. They actually feel really good. Then you have this little, uh, what do you call this? Your little directional pad down here. And this is to adjust the trim on the drone. When you put the drone up in the air, it's going to drift one way or the other, forward, backwards, left, or right. And you just, it's really cool. Normally you have to push a button and hold it and then tap the joysticks in the opposite direction. This one, all you have to do is tap this in the opposite direction. The drone is drifting and it will level the drone out and keep it from drifting. Remember, you're not going to get a perfect hover on it. It's going to drift here and there with a draft and all that, but it will level it out pretty damn good. So up here we have our auto takeoff and auto land button. You just long press this, the drone will take off. Long press it again when it's in the air and it will land. And it does have headless mode. You just tap this, puts the drone in headless mode. You have your emergency stop here. If you push this button in and hold it for about three seconds, the drone will literally explode in the air and you won't have to worry about it hitting anything or crashing anything, but you'll lose your drone. So emergency, I'm kidding, you know that, right? You just hold it in, but the drone will drop out of the sky wherever it is. So only use that button if you absolutely need to. Over here is your photo and video button. So one press, it'll take a picture. Long press it, it will start recording your video. Down here is your power button. Long press it. Oh, look at there. And it will come on. Now this is an auto connect or auto pairing controller. So you don't have to go up and back on the joystick to pair it it will actually pair with the drone all by itself. On the top, you have your really cool 360 degree flip. Push this button, it will beep, and then you can take your right joystick and push it up, back, left, or right, and the drone will flip whichever way you push that joystick. So it'll do a side flip, forward, backward, it's really cool. Over here is your speed switch. It has three speeds. That is the controller. Very cool. All right, let's get this little guy out of the box. I cannot wait to unfold him and check him out. Wow, it is really, really small. Look at that. That is tiny. So let's unfold him here and see what he looks like. So I don't think there is any particular way you have to unfold the arms. It looks like they're high enough where they will, well, I guess you'll have to do the back first and then the front to close it up. But that's him unfolded. That is super cool. He is really, really tiny. So you take your battery and it just slides in the back here like so. And it locks right in. Boom. Super, super light. This thing only weighs about two ounces total. So it's really light. I wouldn't fly it outdoors. I mean, you can if there's like zero wind. Uh, but any breeze or whatever, like that, it's probably going to really make it hard to trim him up or to fly him at all. It's super light. You have your power button on the top, and you push this, hold it in, 
and the drone comes on you got some blinking lights here they're gonna blink because i don't have it paired yet i really like the two leds on the front it almost makes this little dude look like a mosquito it's super cool since we got them this way here is your 1080p fpv camera and it is adjustable 90 degrees you can go straight down with it and straight forward with it really cool great camera on this little drone i can't wait to show you the camera it's got some great quality to it that's pretty much him you got a little led light blinking under here some vents you got some rubber legs here some really tall legs he actually stands off the ground pretty far i mean i can slide my thumb pretty much all the way under him that's the drone let's pair him up to the controller here and see if we can start him up so you can hear him so now the range on this drone is 100 meters or about 328 feet the fpv range I believe it's 50 meters, so it's half of that. So you're going to get just about 120 feet out of it FPV. But that's really good for inside to fly it around. Again, that is unobstructed, and they say outdoors. Um, but with that kind of range, you can probably get it through your house all over the place flying it and with no loss of FPV or video transmission. So really cool. All right, so we're going to turn on the controller. Oh, that was quick, and they just paired each other just like that so i believe on this one now you do have to calibrate the gyros there is no compass calibration or anything like that but it's super easy it's just both joysticks down and out and you can see there i don't know if you could see it but the lights blinked and your gyros are calibrated then you can unlock the motors on this little dude and it's really awesome take both joysticks down and in very quiet for brushed motors i am actually shocked how quiet this thing really is they're usually super loud i'm sure that will get a lot louder once it takes off and there's more power going to them but you can hear that's really quiet that is cool that is everything you get with this little dude i see we set him up get him ready to fly i'm going to show you guys the app how to hook him to the wi-fi on your phone and we're going to put him in the air and see what he can do. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up and connect it to the Wi-Fi and to the app. And then we'll go over the app here real quick and I'll show you some of the features on the app. I did leave one of the obstacle avoidance mechanisms off. I wanted to show you how they go on. They're really super easy. You just take it and slide it up to the bottom here. And then you got to kind of push them up onto the drone and I kind of just take my finger below the blade here and just kind of squeeze it up you got to give it a pretty good squeeze to get it up all the way but that's how this little dude looks with his propeller guards on awesome all right so we're going to go ahead and set it up so you need to turn the drone on there we go lights are blinking pair him to your controller and again, calibrate the gyros. Calibrate the gyros every time you crash the drone or change the batteries or land it and put it back up. It only takes a split second to do it and, and it's just a good thing to do. Down and out. Come on. There he goes. And we're calibrated. So now he's emitting a Wi-Fi signal from the drone and you're gonna use that to connect the app and the drone to your phone. Now you do not need internet on your phone to connect to the drone. You just need something that can connect to a Wi-Fi signal. So go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and open them up. And you'll see it right there. It says San Cisco with a bunch of numbers, EXT, 5G. Nope, not the wrong one. It switched on me there. Sorry, San Cisco D15. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's only 2.4 gigahertz, not a 5 gigahertz. And then you want to tap on it. Where did it go? where did it go it went away there it goes all right so we're going to tap on it and we're going to get connected now the first time you do this it's going to probably ask you to uh, give it permission to your photo album and all the other good stuff and then you may get a pop-up telling you you're connected with no internet again that is perfectly okay and then you may get another one popping up asking you if you want to keep the wireless connection or switch to cellular data Keep the Wi-Fi connection, 
that is what the drone uses to send you your FPV or your video transmission feed. Then you're going to go download, which you should have already, the San Cisco V app, and it's free at Google Play and the Apple Store. Open your app. And you'll see the picture of the blurry mountain in the background, and it's supposed to look that way, so don't think something's up with your phone or the app. It is supposed to be blurred. Next, you have your help app. When you tap on this, it will open up a little page, and it shows you what every icon on the app means or does. Come out of here, and then you're going to hit connect. And hopefully, we will have a video signal, and we do. And you can see right there, we have video. And you can see here, I'm going to show you now since I have the camera up, it's actually a really clear video for a mini drone. It's actually really clear. I'm, I'm just impressed with the camera all around. All right, so now we're connected and we're good to go. You can put it up near and you can fly it now. So I'll go over some of the features on the app here real quick. So the first one here, well, the arrow, that will take you out of the app. The first one is your picture. If you tap that, the drone will take a picture. The next one, of course, is your video, and it will start recording video. Tap it again, it will stop. The next one brings you to the photo album, and it will show you the pictures and the videos that you have taken. Then, next to that is your speed, and you have three speeds. 60% is speed 2, 100% is speed 3. And then, next to that, this is a really cool feature. This is what they call their MV, MV feature. Uh, like a movie feature, I guess. But if you tap on this one and then click up here in the top left where it says click select music, tap it and it will give you all these little selections down here for music that you can pick. And what it does, you pick a tune like, we'll say that one. And then you hit record from here and it will tell you to confirm it. And if you confirm it, what the drone's going to do now is it will record a 30 second clip with that music in the video so it's really cool there's a whole bunch to choose from I won't go through all of them but stop it we'll get out of here really cool feature on the drone it's it's really cool the next one is your gravity control if you tap this one you can take your phone and tilt it forward backward left to right and the drone will go accordingly it just will not ascend and descend with the gravity control but it will go forward backwards and all left and all right next is your I don't know why this feature is on here. I don't understand it. I don't know what good it would do, but this will flip your video upside down. And when you tap that, you can see there, now our video is upside down. And if you tap it again, it will bring it back upright. So the drone does not fly upside down, so I'm not sure what good that does, but hey, if you want to fly it with your video upside down, fly it with your video upside down. Next is your trace to fly. This is a cool feature as well. And what you do on here is you just draw a pattern on here and the drone will actually follow that pattern. Just be aware that you don't know what the range is on this, this pattern here. So I would start out really small and work your way up so you know where the drone is going to go. So you're not making a square or a circle or a figure eight and it's going to smash into the wall because it's too big. So just be careful with that. And you have to tap it again to get out of it. I don't know why that joystick came up, but it did. So the next one here, this would do your flip. And that's a 360 degree flip. When you tap that, um, you can use on the controller on your app and you can go up or back or left or right. And the drone will flip accordingly. Next one here is your headless mode. If you put that one on, of course, the drone goes into headless mode. Then you have these three little dots. Open these up and this puts your controllers on the screen and over to the left is your auto takeoff, then you have your auto land, and this one is your calibration button, your gyro calibration, tap that, it'll calibrate the gyros. You have your controllers, so your left one of course is, for, or is up and down, turn left, turn right, then you have your forward, backward, all left and all right over here on the right. These little lines at the bottom here, these are your trim buttons. And you can trim the drone through the app as well. And then you have your emergency stop. Tap that. And again, the drone will explode in the air and you lose your drone. No, you know, I'm kidding. Tap it and the drone will fall out of the sky wherever it's at. It just completely shuts the motors off. So 
be aware of that. That's pretty much the app, you guys. Um, quick note, if you're going to fly it with the app, you have to turn the controller off. I will try to do it and show you. I've not been able to get the motors to unlock with the joysticks on the app. We'll try it again and see. But to do the auto takeoff, auto land, to use the trace to fly uh, features, you have to have the uh, controller off. You can't, they won't work in unison, which is kind of unfortunate that because it's to me, it's really hard to fly the drone with the app controllers. Um, I'm going to do it and show you a little bit of it because I want to show you that trace to fly. It's a really cool feature, but it's to me, it's just harder to do it that way. So I wish they would work together, but they don't. So I'm going to turn the controller off and the lights should start blinking on the drone. And there they go. And now they quit. So it's synced to the app now. So if I hit the uh, gyro calibration, the light should blink on the drone. There they go. So we are calibrated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both joysticks and push them down and in and see if it'll unlock the motors. I don't think it will, but we're going to try it. So yeah, so it won't unlock the motors this way. But I do know if I hit the auto takeoff, the drone will launch in the air. I'm not going to do it because it will shoot right up into the camera. So we're just going to totally skip that step. But there you go. That's the drone. Let's go put this little dude up in the air and see what he can do. Okay, guys, here we go. Test flight of the Sancisco D15 mini drone. I'm going to unlock the motors with the joysticks and we're going to launch them there and see what he can do. Here we go. And lift off. Wow, that's a great lift off. That was really smooth. He just took off, didn't go very high at all. That was really great. Now you can see there, he does need to be trimmed a little bit, not much though. So you just take that keypad at the bottom left and tap it the opposite direction he's drifting. You see there, I only tapped it once. A little bit forward there, maybe to the left again. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm not doing anything with the, uh, the controller and he's staying right there. So that's really cool. All right, so I'm going to do the flip and show you the flip. It's really cool how he does this flip. Just remember when the battery gets to a certain point, he won't do the flip for you. So it's just a little safety feature, I suppose. But here we go. Right down and up he goes. That was a sideway. I'm going to do backwards. Whoa, that was awesome. He handles really well. There's no delay in the controller whatsoever. I mean, you tap it and he goes whatever direction you're tapping it up and down to. That is really cool. All right, I'll show you the speeds. This is speed one right here. Nice, comfortable speed to fly it around in the house. Speed two. See, they're a little bit faster. Actually, it's quite a bit faster in speed two. All right, so now we're going to hit speed three. You heard the three beeps. And that's speed three. Speed three is pretty quick. So that's pretty much. So I'm going to land him and I'm going to attempt. To launch him with the app, I want to show you guys, the only feature that I want to show you on the app is the trace to fly. It is actually really cool. You just got to be careful when you do it because it doesn't really give you an exact uh, estimate of where the drone's going to go when you do your pattern. But he will do it. I hate flying it with the app, but I'm going to try it just so I can show you guys that feature. And then again, you can switch the speeds with the app too. Remember, you cannot have... You can't control the drone with the app if you have the actual controller on. So I'll bring him over here and I'll do the one key land for you guys so you can see that. Well, I really like the way he handles. It's great. All right, so let me get him over here. And you can see he's just hovering right there. Line him up so I don't miss the table. And here we go. And that's it. He lands. All right, let me switch this battery and I'm going to do the app, even though I don't want to do it, but I'm going to try to do it so I can show you guys that trace to fly. 
Okay guys, here we go. I'm going to attempt to launch him with the app and then get him kind of leveled out. And I'm going to show you that uh, tap to fly or trace to fly, they call it, so you can see that. Um, it's pretty cool. So you just hit the one key takeoff. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually controlling him with the app. I usually can't do it that well. So we'll turn him a little bit. I'll get him over here some more. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that feature real quick so you can see it. I think I'm just going to have him go forward and then backwards a little bit. So I don't run into anything. Again, it doesn't... You got to be careful with the radius you're, you're drawing your pattern. All right, so here we go. Little circle there. There he goes. And we'll turn it off. So I don't know if you saw it. He did do a little bit of a circle. I'll try to do another one a little bit bigger. I don't know. But let's try a little figure eight. See what happens here. Here we go. Well, that was kind of a figure eight, wasn't it? <laughs> but there you go. The actual, the response actually from the, the app controls to the drone is really a slight delay. Not much at all. So I'm going to show you this movie mode that it has, too, because it's actually pretty cool. Let's see. I don't know if you can do it with the app. No, it looks like you can't do it. So the, the, that part where you can play the music through your video, you have to do through the controller. I see here it's shaded, and I didn't know that. I'm not going to do the gravity control, guys, because I will absolutely wreck this drone. But that's him. I mean, that's everything. Great little drone. I'm going to land him, and then... I'm going to give you my final thoughts, and we're going to wrap this video up. So I will just bring him down over here a little bit, and I'm going to hit the one key land. And we're hopefully going to land him on the coffee table. Maybe. Oh, I'm no good at the controls on the app. I hate this. Here we go. Oh, that worked out great. Well, all right, there you go, San Francisco's D-15 mini drone. Overall, great little drone for indoor flying. I absolutely fell in love with this little drone. It was super easy to fly. The takeoff was perfect. The altitude hold was great. Didn't have to waste a whole lot of time trimming them up, which I absolutely love. I even did the apps controls, and they worked. I was able to do them. Normally, I suck at doing those, so I don't even attempt to do it in my videos. But I wanted to do it with this one to show you. This one is really easy to do. There was no delay from the joystick movement on the app to the drone, which I absolutely love. Normally, there's quite a bit of the delay uh, in that movement to the drone when you fly it through the app. It makes it a lot harder to fly. The trace to fly, or tap to fly as they call it, it worked. Start out small on that, though, so you know where the drone's going to go, and you're not crashing it into your wall when you're trying to do your figure eight or whatever design you want it to fly in. Camera. Great little camera on it. I love the 1080p camera on here, and the fact it's adjustable is great. $55.99 on Amazon, you guys. You cannot beat that price, and you can't beat the fact that it's 50% off right now. $30 bucks with tax. Absolute steal for this mini drone. This is going to be my go-to indoor mini drone. I love it. I'm going to go charge my batteries up right now and get them back up in the air and fly them some more. Till then, remember, hit that subscribe and notify button for me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Go get your drone, have fun, stay safe out there, and don't be a drone dummy.